Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily Minecraft tutorial, and today we're going to be showing you how to access the files on your Minecraft server utilizing a thing called FTP slash SFTP on Modrin. Take it away. Yeah, thank you. So indeed, in this video, I'm going to show you how can you access the files outside of Modern. So you need to access your Modern files, but how do you download these files? Well, I'm going to show you how to download your Modern files using SFTP or FTP. So what is FTP? Uh, this is just a software which lets you access server files in a other application. Right? So this is something that we will be downloading onto your Windows computer and we will be able to access using a code and a server address to download these files. So for example, we need to have opened our Modvent server console first because we need to have access to these codes in the first place. Here in a web browser, I have a server and I want to access these files. Now, of course you can simply go to this and see your files. But, if you go to any one of these files, you will see that you can't actually download them in every, in any like way. You can add files, but you can't really access them. So, let me show you how can you actually download this folder. It's quite simple. You have to go to your options, right here, and then on the bottom, you're gonna see something called info. Now this tab is going to be more important than you think. Here we have SFTP and if we hover this, this button only works with compatible SFTP clients, example WinSCP. So let's get WinSCP. To get WinSCP, you have to go to a new tab and look up WinSCP. There you go. Here we have WinSCP. We can see SFTP and FTP, all the same things we see here. To access that, all you have to go is on this website, where the link will be in the description as well. And there is multiple ways to download it. As this is an FTP client, there is, it's kind of like accessing something from uh, remotely and having it download onto your computer directly might not be everyone's cup of tea. So, by going here, you're gonna see auto downloads. So let me do this again. You go on this website, you go to download now, and then you have a couple of ads. You see, download WinSCP, get it from the Microsoft Store, or auto downloads. Now, once going on that, you're gonna see a thing called portable executables now this will be the most useful one because you don't really download the application onto your computer making it a bit more secure so just click download on that one and it's gonna start downloading exactly that there you go now we have downloaded win scp as a zip onto our computer now, we don't need to look at the website anymore, we need to just stay here. Once we have our modern page again, you need to go to your file manager, because we need to actually execute that portable executable. So we need to go to our file manager right here, and then go to downloads. Here we see the zip file that we just downloaded. Now just right click on it and you'll see a feature called extract all. Now if you have your own method of extracting your zip folders, completely fine. This is just a default version that Windows comes with. Now we have extracted our zip. Here we just double click on that and we have our program right here. WinSCP.exe. This is the one we want to execute. Just double click on that and we will have this. This is the thing that we are looking into. Now that we have this here, 
all we have to do is put in the different information in the blanks. So, first of all, we go to our host name, which is this. So we just copy that and then we paste it in there. Then we go to username right here. We copy that and we paste it in. Then we go to our password where we copy our password and we paste it in. Now all we do is log in. As you see, the 222 has been automatically set to the port number. Once we log in, we will have access to the server files. So, there you go. Now, this is continue connecting to an unknown server and a hosting cache. For a secure method, just click on this arrow here and click connect once right here. This is, this is just to make sure that everything is unsecure. You have a portable and you also disconnect once. This is just a good method to keep your security. So, just click connect once and it's going to start connecting to the server. There you go. So, now we are in our server files right here. This is our computer. This is our server. So, what we, what we want to do, for example, is bringing one of these files onto our computer because we want to download it. And let's just take, I don't know, these server properties. Why not? What we, what we want, first we want to find a place to actually download it to. So I just select desktop, whatever. This will just be set on our desktop. And let's drag in uh, one of these folders. So we just bring it here. You go download server properties to here. And now I have one file file in there. And let's also bring in a folder why not? There you go. Now on our computer, our desktop, we have a versions and a server properties. So what we can do, we can close this and everything. And now we can see that we have server properties and a versions folder onto our computer. We can do the same thing with the world, for example. There you go. Okay. And now we've done the same thing here. So, yeah. Basically, that's how we bring in these files onto our computer. So, yeah, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, see you for the next one. Bye.